to be having this on the floor of the Senate. Obviously, the views of the majority leader are important to consider, but they do not govern what happens here in the Judiciary Committee. If consideration on the floor was a standard for approving a bill in committee or not, uh, we wouldn't uh, be uh, probably moving any bills out of this committee. Republican Senator Susan Collins of Maine joins me now. Senator Collins, welcome back to the show. Thank you, Chuck. I'm going to ask about that very question you heard Mitch McConnell say. I decide what goes on the floor. It's not happening. Where are you on this bill? I believe that it is important to have a debate on this bill in order to send clear message to the president that Congress does not support his taking any action with regard uh, to Mr. Mueller's investigation. Now, I don't think there's any chance in the world that the president is going to sign the bill. And there are some legitimate constitutional issues that have been raised. But I think that message is an important one. Well, you and I both know you can always attach stuff to must sign pieces of legislation. President Obama got forced to pass laws that he didn't want necessarily passed because the other parts of the bill were more important. You guys could do something like that. We could, but I think the president might well veto the entire bill that it's attached to. And also there's a possibility that it would be struck down. But the message is an important one. That's why you want this debate. You think Correct. having this public debate what about Mitch McConnell's pledge not to bring it to the floor? Well, it's his call, but I would hope that he might reconsider after the Judiciary Committee reports the bill. Let me ask you a, a larger question here. When I saw that, I think the House decided to adjourn a day early. Um, it, it feels as if Washington is almost paralyzed right now by the Mueller probe. And I, and I know that, or at least it, it, it sort of, it's a poll that is, is sort of makes everything hit, everybody's hitting the pause button. You can't seem to focus on a lot of other issues. Is it consuming Washington, the Mueller probe a little? Well, there's certainly a lot of interest in it, and in some ways I think people are following the daily uh, developments, but we are getting work done in other areas, and I'm optimistic that this year we may finally return to a regular appropriations process. We just passed the sex trafficking we, we, bill. By the way, you just brought up a What do you make of this decision to potentially repeal some spending? a rescissions bill that you heard just talked about. You guys just cut a deal uh, with the Democrats and with everybody. And w what kind of deal makers would you be if you pull the rug? I would advise uh, the president to focus on the coming year's appropriations and not try to relitigate and- So you won't support something like this? No, I will not. Well, that means, frankly, there's with a razor thin margin here, doesn't that send the message that this isn't going anywhere? Well, this is an agreement that all the parties were in the room, both chambers and the administration agreed to, and I just don't think that anyone should renege on it. We should focus going forward on the uh, appropriations bills before us. All right. I want to ask you about your role in the Senate Intelligence Committee. Michael Cohen, he has made one appearance uh, before the Intel Committee in closed session. What's your sense of Michael Cohen's connection to this Russia probe? That's a very difficult question to answer. There's been one uh, interview with Michael Cohen. It has not been released to the public. I'm not at liberty to say what he said. Mm -hmm. uh, but let me just say that I don't see him as being a central figure in this. The fact that um, the special counsel referred the allegations against Mr. Cohen back to the Justice Department and was referred to a U.S. attorney uh, suggests to me that it is not intimately connected to the Russian probe. Do you feel as if um, Special Counsel Robert Mueller uh, has expanded his probe beyond the scope of what um, of what he was assigned, or is, do you feel like he is staying within the parameters? I believe he's staying within the parameters, and the proof of that is when he came across the allegations against Mr. Cohen, he did refer them back to the Justice Department, and they're now being handled by a U.S. attorney in the Southern District of New York. He didn't keep those. Uh, James Comey's book tour. What do you make of James Comey? And what do you make of the, what's the lesson now you're taking away from for perhaps what advice you would give a future FBI director by watching James Comey and this book tour and how he's handled all of this? Well, if I were advising a future FBI director, I would say two things. One, always follow the Department of Justice's protocols and guidelines 
which unfortunately James Comey did not do in the Hillary Clinton investigation. And he did not do when he leaked documents that were FBI work documents to a friend of his, knowing that they would go to the press. And uh, it, it, so that would be my first advice. The second would be don't write a book in the middle of an investigation. You think this is potentially going. disruptive to the Mueller probe? That's what worries me. I cannot imagine why an FBI director would seek to essentially cash in on a book when <laughs> the investigation is very much alive. He should have waited to do his memoir. Um, the Senate confirmation process on everything seems to be more and more difficult all the time. Let me ask you about two. Mike Pompeo, you voted to confirm him as CIA director. Uh, any reason you wouldn't vote to confirm him as Secretary of State? I am going to vote to confirm him. Uh, any concerns at all or no? I worked closely.